Hello guys and welcome back to another video. This is the final reveal on this uh sorry about the throat. This uh Mustang uh North American Mustang IV which is four. Now this one I finished a while back. Um it was the first plane I did before I got my uh, when I, the first plane I did with my airbrush. Um and I sprayed the red. Both of these were actually done in a live stream, actually. So, um, yeah, they were done in Chris and Alex's. Uh, this one in the car uh, one that they're doing, and this one oh, I can't remember. This was ages ago, so um, it was about two months ago. I think I finished this. So, yeah. The kits overall, so I think they are the same kit. Um, they're really good. New Airfix tooling, um, not the new instructions, but new tooling. This one starts at that one was just a, a normal uh, kit. Yeah, the two the uh, fit is really good. The only issue I had, I've said this before, is here where you put the wings on the bottom of the plane. Um, you need to uh, basically you need to sand the front um, bit down there so you can actually fit it in because it isn't fitted very well but apart from that um, that was the only issue I had uh, with it but overall the two the kits uh, were really good so the final reveal is on this one so I'll put this one to one side for a minute now this uh finish on this i think turned out really well um as you can see i'll bring the light down a bit closer um i think it turned out really well there was no kind of weathering on that one but i've done it on this one uh we've got the i don't know what it's actually called but the dust off the guns i guess um where the shells have gone and stuff so yeah that's that i've done the weathering by the engine uh, exhaust there uh painted with both tan with three tanny colors uh light gray dark gray and i think it was medium sea gray rf or no it was a um, ocean gray to rf in tanny colors so those were painted fully in this uh <laughs> But there was a couple of parts actually missing in this kit where when I built it, so uh, I did pretty well to try and manage about them. I didn't have the aerial because I started this ages ago, and then uh, I got another kit that I was really excited and needed to build. So I put this one away, and um, I didn't want basically too much on the go at once because I had about three kits on the go. Um, so basically, I just put it away, and some of the parts got lost. Uh, I think the panel in the front got lost, but I, I, I uh, managed to um, use some sprue uh, for that off another kit. The uh, aerial was lost, the uh, flight stick was lost, and the control panel as well. But I think I saved it pretty well um, as well. So, yeah, very good kit. I would recommend it. Uh, very good. And this is the same kit as well. Just so you know, these two are the same. And they are really good kits. I got them both to go with each of that. But there is another Mustang, an Airfix one, that I could get as well. Because these are, like, really good. I, I, I enjoyed the... Um, I'd say I really enjoyed this build more than that one, purely because this one, I um, didn't really know what I was doing with the airbrush and stuff, so, yeah. And it, it looks a bit, the paint works a bit scruffy on it. So, yeah. But I think I might get the other Mustang, I think it's the, um, of a Korean War, yeah, the Korean War one. I've kind of had, like, the checkered on the front, and, um, I think it's, like, yeah, it's just checkered red in front and black and uh, silver, I think. So, 
yeah thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed this is the final reveal on this so hope you like it and uh, I'll see you guys next time bye